Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of these corners. I uh, just made a video showing that a new feature that is in X8, this rectangle is drawn with dashed lines, but it doesn't have corners. Well, in the new X8 and X19 or X9, uh, you can go to Dockers, Object Properties, and there's a new feature right here that'll fix the corners. And I just made a video how you could draw it on your own if you have X7 or below. But I started thinking about you could do it another way. Now, this is a little bit unorthodox, but it's even, and it's a pretty cool effect. So I'm just going to back up here and get to my rectangle. And we'll, I just drew this one with this process. And you'll see how in just a second. So we've got a, a rectangle. It's a, it's a line and not fill. So we're going to go to a range and we're going to convert it to an object. And then we're going to left click, right click. And now we've got two lines. I brought in some rectangles that I drew, and I like drawing the center of the page, so we'll put them in the center of the page, we'll put my rectangle in the center of the page. I just evenly spaced them out using the align and distribute docker uh, right here, and I just spaced those three lines out, then I grouped them. And I grouped them so I could do this, control D, make a duplicate, and rotate it 90 degrees. I want that, control D, 90 degrees. And I'm going to nudge this thing over. And what we needed, if you want it perfect, uh, then this might not be the way to do it, but it, it, it'll give you some ideas. So from that node to that node, they're 0 0.21 apart. So if we want to go 0 0.21 apart, we're going to set our nudge factor a little lower and we're going to nudge this over to that line. And remember the point one two plus our rectangle is 0.55. So we need to move it over 0.76. So set the nudge factor, nudge factor of 0.76. Now this is a little unorthodox. Control D and make a duplicate. Control D, Control D, Control D. Now we're one line off, but that's really not a problem. And what we could do, let's do this. We're going to ungroup this group of three. We're going to delete this last one. And we're going to actually delete that one. Well, we're going to have to ungroup it. because We don't want one right on the edge. And that looks pretty good. We're we're actually pretty equal. If you weren't equal, what you could do is grab these and holding down the Alt key so you can grab all the red ones, Control G for group, and then hit P. No, nope, I didn't must have Control G at it. Control G, and then hit P, and it's going to put it in the center of the page. Now, this is the unorthodox part, but it would work on almost any shape. Grab your Smart Fill tool and a little bit, and you can make your rectangles bigger. Your red rectangles will give you more spacing. Um, you could play around with it however you wanted, and you could also just color in half this and then mirror it down. But just for the video, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. And so you could do this with a ellipse. You could do it with a triangle. Um, square rectangle and then just grab all this and put no lines and now you have a having trouble grabbing my zoom tool now you have a dotted dash line with perfect corners so that's just another way to do it if you do not have x8 or above Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.